Alex has always been propelled to pop stars. You know, I took him to see the Spice Girls for his first concert. Of course, he was obsessed with Britney. <laughs> I think he even had a Mandy Moore cassette tape once, but it's never been like this. Alex is addicted to Ariana Grande. <laughs> used to be fun to hang out with. We used to love to just like paint our nails black and then we'd we'd thumb wrestle and and then we'd listen to Evanescence and, and we just we just cry but but now all he cares about is Aaron Carter. You mean Ariana Grande. Who? Absolutely love Ariana Grande. She's my motherfucking queen. Will she see this? How has his addiction affected his life? He doesn't do anything else. You know, he only answers me in Ariana Grande song titles. At least once a week, he'll call me in the middle of the night blasting that Ride Dick Bicycle song and asking me if I'm a dangerous woman. It concerns me. You know, is it something I did? Is this all my fault? <laughs> So just walk me through your average day. Um, usually I'll start my day by warming up my voice to Ariana during my morning movement. Something about you makes me feel like a dangerous woman. Something about, something about you. Um, that takes about two hours. Then I'll have breakfast. Uh, Adona and the Dangerous Woman album, of course. <laughs> um, usually middays, I'll like call around to different establishments to see which ones play Ariana and which ones don't, so that I know which ones I can go to and which ones that I can't. Thanks for calling North Carolina. Um, yes, hi. I was just wondering, is your establishment um Ariana Grande friendly? Because if not, then I cannot come. What's your matter? Um, is your establishment Ariana Grande friendly? I need to know. Is that what you said? Ariana Grande, the motherfucking queen. Do you know her? Do you like her? Uh, she sings, right? Yeah, she, exactly. Right. She's a singer. Do you love her? No, I don't. I'm sorry, I don't. You don't love her? Excuse me? I gotta go. I, 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 if, you can, if you don't love her, then I don't love you. Gotta go. Wow. And then I'll just end my day by listening to her entire collection and just, like, tweeting pictures to her that I made. So, pretty casual. Has she ever responded? Well, she's on tour right now, um, so she's really busy, and she's got a lot of followers, so, you know, she can't always respond to everyone always, so. So is that a no? It's a not yet, you know? Even Ariana didn't know that she could hold Moonlight in her hands until the night she held you, so. <laughs> getting fired from all of his jobs. 
And all he has to say is, ain't you ever seen a princess be a bad bitch? Like, what does that mean? He recently worked for Ticketmaster, um, but he got fired um, for yelling at customers when they would buy tickets, you know, other than Alanis. You mean Ariana. Seriously, who is that? Mm -mm -mm. Alex is out of control. Baby, I can see right there that he's gonna have a problem if he doesn't quit that Ariana Grande daydreaming. We are gonna get him to focus and show him the way so he can stop making these bad decisions every day. Be all right. Hello, and welcome to the day that we have all been waiting for, Intervention Day. Alex's mother and gothic sister are here to tell him how they are through supporting his addiction, and if he doesn't make a change, he's gonna have to drive down Honeymoon Avenue alone. How are you feeling today? Oh, I'm so nervous. I just farted. You know, I thought it smelled like raw meat mixed with Avon, so, yeah. And you? Do you think Alex will accept treatment today? No. Well, good talk. <laughs> Gothics, am I right? <laughs> oh, oh, uh, I'm seeing my producers are pacing back and forth, and uh, it looks like they have some pretty tightly clinched jaws and uh, even tighter clinched butt cheeks, so that could only mean one thing. Alex must be here. Um, excuse me, but uh, what in the AG hell is going on here? Please tell me. Hello, Alex. Welcome. My name is D. I like the D. <laughs> I hear you also like Ariana Grande a lot. And that's why I'm here, to help you and your family with your addiction. Mom? Goth sister? Alex, <laughs> my son. I miss who you used to be. The little boy who would dress up in heels and sing and dance. <laughs> um, I still do that. But ever since your Ariana Grande addiction, I've lost my son. And that's been hard on me. What also has been hard on me is that I no longer can listen to Ariana Grande without feeling guilty. And her stuff is hot. So please, seek treatment today. Mm, that was beautiful. Let us continue. Alex. Your addiction has negatively affected me in the following ways. <sighs> you only play Alessia Cara. Ariana! When you know that I can only listen to Panic at the Disco, Nickelback, and Korn. And you expose me to color when you know that my eyes and my soul can only handle black. Please accept treatment today. God, that was so gothic. So, as you can see, Alex, you have people here who love you and want to see you get better. Will you accept treatment today? Never. If you refuse treatment, I will no longer pay for any of your expenses, including your cat ear headphones. That is so unfair! You pay for all of her weird gothic stuff, like those fugly fingerless gloves! Alex, if you accept, you'll be taken to the I've Seen Better Days, but the sun will come out tomorrow, hopefully, treatment center in Seattle, Washington. What do you say? Seattle? Hmm. Okay, yeah, I'll go. Oh, thank God.
take on the addiction. Oh, is she the one that sounds like a young Mariah Carey? You are so gothic. I wish that I had better news to give, but unfortunately, as soon as we got to that treatment center in Seattle, Washington, Alex asked if he could use the bathroom, and unfortunately, we never saw him again. Our camera crew was lucky enough to catch these final moments on camera. That is hilarious that they thought that I was actually going to go to that knockoff Little Orphan Annie bullshit. The gag is, I only said yes to come to Seattle so I could get to the Ariana Grande show here. <laughs> bang, bang, bitch! <laughs> I gotta go.